Hello and welcome back artists and designers. We are on the last page of our text effects worksheet here and I'm going to try and show you a couple more things here uh, that you can do with text. I mean there's lots to explore but we're going to talk about the stroke options here, gradients, two tones, and uh, maybe kind of mess with that. So let's go ahead and start with some text. So I'm going to go ahead and click here and let's try, um, we're going to type in since this is current right now, Barbie. There we go. Let's select that. Let's make that a white font for right now. And then let's go ahead and make this uh, not the boring old Myriad Pro. Let's see if we can find a script font for this real quick. There we go. Oops, did it select that one? I know this is not exactly the Barbie font, but let's go ahead and uh, make that a little bit bigger. Okay, so let's say we want Barbie in white, and then we want to have like a nice kind of pink outline around that. So we, if we go over here to Stroke and then choose our pink, for our outline uh, and we start cranking this up first off you can see it's doing some weird things it's kind of putting it inside and if I want to make a nice thick stroke unfortunately it doesn't really it's hiding the letters. so there's a fancier way to do this and I do have a link to show you that in a video but we're gonna go ahead and do the easy way uh, so we're going to take this text once we have this kind of fat stroke on it. And if you do find, notice how these spiky things are coming out. If you do see these showing up, it happens a lot on uh, text with more angles. We can hit the word stroke and go into this menu and hit corner and round that out. And that will get rid of those little spiky things if that happens. So here's what we're going to do now. We can't see the text, so we're going to simply duplicate the text. So I'm going to make a copy. And on this copy version, I'm going to go ahead and click none for my stroke. So I can see my original text right here and then simply drag it back over top. And now I have that nice kind of outline on my Barbie text. I could always flip that. Oops. Let's take both of those, select them, drag it down here and let's kind of reverse that. So I'm going to click on this one. I'm going to flip the stroke and fill, have it white and pink click on this one let's choose pink for our fill and there we go drag this back up and you know in that way you get that nice kind of fat stroke around it and you can have some fun with that one so there's a quick little method to get that nice thick stroke around something that's uh, one method to do it that's the easiest way all right let's go back in here and let's try adding a gradient to something so let's go ahead and click gradient all right and oh boy, that text looks horrible in all caps. So we're going to choose a different uh, font for sure. So let's clear that out and let's pick something normal and easy to read. There we go. Make it a little bit larger. And you're going to notice that if I go over and I click on my um, gradient here, it's not going to let me put a gradient on. So by default, it doesn't allow you to apply gradient. So all we have to do to apply the gradient is we're going to go ahead down to our create outlines like we did in the previous one and we hit create outlines. We can go ahead and ungroup if we want. Uh, I'm just going to leave it in a group for now. And now I should be able to click on any of my gradients here and I can go ahead and apply a gradient to the overall letter. Now, you'll notice that each letter is applying a gradient independently, so it looks kind of weird because each letter is kind of going its own which way. If you click on the gradient options right here, you are going to get some more gradient options, which again, you know that you have your different defaults in here. I could choose a different angle on this. So you can play around with gradients, but the key is you have to uh, apply the... Um, create outlines before you do the gradient. All right, so that's a gradient real quickly on there. So you can work with that, try some different things to add gradients to text. Let's go ahead and slice up our text. So I'm gonna say slice, or um, you can do this a couple different ways. So let's use the same text right here. All right, so for this one, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go back and do create outlines. So let's go ahead and create our outlines. And now with our text like this, we know that this is editable. So I have anchor points on here and I can move stuff around and do all sorts of stuff with it. So if we want to slice this text, one of the most simple things to do is if we take a line and drag it across, let's do something like that. I'm going to drag that line across and I'm going to use my good old friend, the shape builder tool here. So I'm going to grab my shape builder tool. And if I go in here and I click, click, 
click. Now it's I have no fill, no stroke selected. So let's make sure that we change the color of this so that we can actually see. All right, click, click, click. There we go. And I'm separating out this text like this. And if I choose this, you'll notice right now, I was able to slice that text. This is grouped. I can ungroup it, I believe. Right click, let's ungroup. And I should be able to select these top pieces. I'm holding down shift and I can move that up and I have now sliced up my text. So really all I had to do for that was to create outlines. Go ahead and get rid of that, create outlines, drag a line across it, uh, and then go ahead and use my shape builder and slice that up and you can get the text to break up that way. So let's try one other thing. Let's say we don't want a straight line. We want something more organic. There is another way to do this and let's do, actually I'm gonna restart this. So let's go ahead, actually, uh, let's type this back in here and we'll say knife because this is gonna be the knife tool. Knife tool is gonna work very similar to the uh, other one. So let's grab a different color here. Let's try a green tone. We'll go ahead and do the same thing. Let's hide this gradient tool. Don't need that right now. Let's hit create outlines. We create our outlines here and we're gonna grab the knife tool. The knife tool is hiding under the eraser tool. So if you click and hold on the eraser tool, we get the knife tool right here. And the way that this works is we can kind of drag across and it's gonna create a line and we're gonna slice across this text. You need to start outside of it. And I'm just gonna make this line and it kind of does a little bit of its own thing. So, you know, it's gonna make this nice curve uh, like that and it's gonna slice that text up right there. And what's cool is now we have to ungroup again because it's all in a group, but now I can click on these upper portions. So let's say I want where the lower portions, I'm gonna select each piece here, select, select all of those. And let's say I wanna make that a slightly darker green. So very similar to what we did with the slicing. We just did it with the knife tool so that we get that nice kind of curved organic line. I mean, I could select all those parts, drag them down, and you can kind of have some fun doing some things like that. So in the knife tool, again, you need to create your outlines on your text, and then you drag that knife tool all the way across and have some fun with that. All right, let's see if we can squeeze one more in here before our time is up. I'm gonna go ahead and show you one other really fun thing and we'll say 3D, whoops, 3D text. So let's go ahead and grab that. Let's change our color just for the heck of it since we've done a couple colors here already. And again, I'm just starting with simple text here, 3D text, all right. So I'm gonna go ahead back over to my effects properties panel and my effects and you'll notice that one is 3D and materials. So I'm gonna click on this 3D materials one and there's a whole bunch in here, but I'm just gonna do the extrude and bevel option. So it's gonna pop up here and all of a sudden I'm gonna get this whole new menu that shows up here, which is kind of interesting. And this gives me a whole lot of things that I can start to play around with on this. Uh, so there's a lot to explore in here. You can have some fun. Make sure you save your document before you do this because this does take some processing power as you start to play around with this stuff. So I would make sure that you do that. One of the things that I'm gonna show you is to skip all this stuff here and go down to the rotation. And there's some presets in here. It defaults to off access front. One of the cool ones is the isometric top. So if I click on that, that kind of flips the text this way. Uh, and again, you can kind of rotate. There's all sorts of things that you can explore in this one. Are you gonna use this for your monogram? Probably not, but it's fun to go in here and explore all the different options that you can kind of do uh, with this. So again, check this menu out and see what you wanna do. You can control your depth on this. So let's say I wanna do isometric top again. I pick that one and then I'm gonna go down to my, or sorry, up to my depth. And right now this is making it thicker. So if I go all the way down to zero, uh, that will just kind of rotate it on the side, or maybe I just want a tiny bit of thickness to it. Sometimes it's hard to dial in and I can see it's freezing up here already, but there you go. Um, some different options for you to work with. Hopefully you get to explore some of these different things. When you are done, 
I want to really make sure that you go up and Illustrator crash on me. I'm not going to stop right now. Go up and save this as a PDF and submit a PDF file. So do file, save as PDF. That way I'll get all six pages together and see all the hard work that you did. All right, have some fun on that last one and uh, fill these pages with all sorts of creative text that you guys create. All right, have a good one and I'll see you in the next video.